Using rounding to one significant figure, estimate the value of 48.72 times 0 0.518 divided by 0 0.049. It is sometimes quite useful to have a rough idea what an answer should be before we put the numbers in the actual numbers into a calculation. So one way to do that is to round each number off to one significant figure and try and work that out without a calculator. So We've got 48.72 times 0 0.518 divided by 0 0.049. So the first thing to do is to take each of these numbers and round them off correct to one significant figure. So we've got 48.72. So that's the first significant figure. This is the second. And we can draw a line there. That 8 will make that for a 5, but we have to add in a 0 instead of the 8. So that's going to become 50 to 1 significant figure. Now we're going to do 0 0.518. So remember that 0 is not significant when we've got decimals. The 5 is, that's the first, that's the second, the 1 is the second. So that 1 is going to have no effect on the 5, so that becomes 0 0.5 to 1 significant figure. And then we've got the last one, 0 0.049. So 0 0.049. Remember, that zero is not significant, that zero is not significant, that's the first significant figure, that's the second. And that nine will make that four a five, so we get 0 0.05 to one significant figure. So now going back to our calculation, 48.72 times 0 0.518 divided by 0 .4, 0 0.049. This is approximately equal to, that's what that symbol means, 50 times 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.05. Now we could probably do this in our head. 50 times 0 0.5, so one half of 50, that's 25, divided by 0 0.05. Now to do division, we need to move the decimal place one place here. So we do the same at the top and add in a zero, and then the second place and add in a zero here, so that gives me, I'm working out the equivalent of uh, 2,500 divided by 5. And then we can do 5 into 25 is 5, and then add in the two zeros to get a rough estimate of 500. Okay, what well, could be a nice idea is now to work out what the actual answer is and see how far we are actually out. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to make a rough estimate of a calculation by rounding each part of the calculation off to one significant figure first. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.